how do you feel about the, your win today? I feel great about the win. I mean, I wish I could have been a little bit more aggressive out there, but my main concern, I changed camp. I've had like four or five weeks to really change my focus, how I'm training and what I'm doing when I go out there. So I wanted to go out there. I wanted to get the win. I want to be intelligent doing it. So I didn't open up as much as I wanted, but I was very happy with the dominance in the ground and pound. And then I know I clipped him a couple times really with the stand-up. So I was overall, I was pleased with the performance. I was happy, extremely happy to get the W and a little extra time to work on my game. What led to your change in camps? I still got the same coach, but where I was at in Seattle, I didn't have a lot of training partners. And I met Trevor Lawley through the game, so I just kind of transplanted down there. I was able to get, get away from my, you know, my kid and my family for a little while, which kind of inspired me a little bit more. It's been like a little over a month since I've seen my kid, so I took a little bit of that on Mr. Miller tonight. <laughs> you know, obviously he hasn't fought in a little while, but mm -hmm. coming into this, you know that he's a guy with a lot of skills. So what were you mostly concerned about facing him? Man, with him, I knew I had to be extremely concerned of that choke. He likes that front choke, and he, he, he tried to sink it in pretty tight a couple times today. Uh, other than that, I knew he was just you know, one, two punches at a time. He had, good, he had fairly decent stand-up, but not a lot of knockout power. I just really wanted to sit back in the pocket. And for me, the biggest thing is before I'd get really stupid chasing people, I'd, I'd come forward with my chin, I'd come up and I'd come out, so I'd give people an easy target. So today I was trying to stay down in my stance, make sure I didn't give them that easy target, and then just take it from there. How difficult is it for you to not get overly aggressive? I know you see openings, you want to go after them, so how hard is it for you to hold back? It's extremely difficult for me, especially being like a big, strong wrestler. I still got that wrestler mentality where we get in there, it's like you, you want to kill him right away. So you come out there and you start chasing him a little bit. So one of my goals in camp with Trevor and all these guys was to be more patient, to sit back, to keep my chin in and, and keep my hands where I could hurt somebody instead of coming forward and put myself in bad position. I don't always need to chase somebody down and just get them. I could sit there and let them walk into me and make them pay for it. What was different about the gyms? Did you have any bad habits or anything, or is it just more training partners and picking up new skills from that? Uh, it's a little bit of both, man. You know, when you don't have a crew of like-minded people around you that are trying to do the same thing, that are trying to be the best in the world, you can get kind of lazy. So I'd go into a gym where I was one of the only fighters in there, and if you don't other, have other brothers that are in there suffering with you, getting their ass kicked, getting ready for fights, it's not nearly as easy to motivate yourself. So for this camp, I was in the gym, and there's a bunch of killers down there at Arizona Combat. So I was able to get in there. You know, I was training with Clifford Starks, a lot of tough guys. Kyle Stewart, he's got a fight coming in. So there's some hungry dudes, and I kind of fed off their energy and some new coaching. And like I said, getting away from my kid, it made me angry. So I had to learn. I had to work hard. Speaking of energy, obviously this place was uh, bumping last night at UFC 189. Did you watch that? Did you take any of that energy into your you know, mindset tonight? Uh, I definitely took the energy. We could hear it all the way up in our room last <laughs> night. We didn't go to the fights because we kind of wanted to focus on what we were doing. But you definitely feed off that energy. I fought on uh, one of Connor's fights before his fight card out in uh, Dublin, Ireland. And you can feel that energy. So Irish fans are crazy. Connor brings them out. I think the entire fight card. That's why you saw it crazy, man. There's a lot of energy in this place last night. So, so how are you going to celebrate this win then? How am I going to celebrate this win? <laughs> I'm going to eat something unhealthy for a day. I'm going <laughs> to give my baby boy a call, and I'm going to go home and take him to Wild Waves. That's my, my big thing. I just want to go home and spend some time with my kid right now. And the question is, you know, I, I personally, honestly, think you look pretty sharp in that warm-up suit right now, but I'm curious what your take on the uh, whole new fight game is. Uh, they're all right, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys, I'm like, you guys tell me what you want me to wear, it doesn't matter, I'm getting in a fist fight, I have a lot of other things I'm worried about than how I'm looking out there, so, whatever they want us to dress up in and however they want to outfit us, I, I like this, I'm going to keep it, it's got my name on it, so, I think it, you know, it, it, was, it was nice, I liked it. And as a fighter, and, let's say father, this guy right here in the lime shirt taking pictures, he's a dad, and I'm staying in the same hotel room with him, and every day it's, I need to call my daughter, I need to see... How is it for you being away from it? Is it like something in the back of your mind every single day? It's not in my mind every day. I mean, there's times that I think about them, you know, but I'm, I'm, when I'm on a trip, I literally call them every night. So we have the beauty of our technology. I'll call them up, I'll pull up my, my little Kindle app, and I'll be like, yeah, you in bed, you have your teeth brushed, and I'll read them a bedtime story. You know, we'll get a chapter out of the book, I'll sing them some Twinkle Twinkle, and I'll say goodnight. So <laughs> even though he's not out here with me, I still get to talk to him every night, and you know, I miss him a lot, and it's just going to mean that much more when I get home and I get to spend time with him. It's hard being a dad, though, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys.